Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create butterfly valve flange type rivet family. In this video, I will use and load in the created valve actuator gearbox family which parameter controlled by lookup table. This is lookup table, CSV file. Its data are referred from the manufacturer specifications. I will use this lookup table, CSV file, to create the parametric family. There are pipe DN40 to DN1200. I will use this formula for default do not found. And I will refer those dimension in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to family category and parameter. Select pipe accessories for family category and select valve breaks into for part type. Set and select the class number. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 26 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for L. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for nominal diameter. Select instance and click OK. Set 100 mm for K value as default. Add a new parameter for J. Select instance and click OK. Add a new parameter for K. Select instance and click OK. Add a new parameter for JR. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for JR parameter. Formula is J divided by 2. And click apply. Add a new parameter for J1. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for J1 parameter. Formula is JR minus K. And click apply. Add a new parameter for OD. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for OD parameter. And click apply. Add a new parameter for outer radius. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for outer radius parameter. And click apply. Add a new parameter for ID. Select instance and click OK. Add a new parameter for IR. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for IR parameter. And click apply. Go to manage lookup table. Import the CSV file. Add a new parameter for lookup table. Select text for type and select other for group. Keep type and click OK. Add parameter value for lookup table. The value is CSV file name. Add formula for ID parameter. And click apply. Add formula for L parameter. And click apply. Add formula for J parameter. And click apply. Add formula for K parameter. Click apply and OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 106 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to outer radius. 
select the existing reference plane. Offset 74 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to J1. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to IR. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 17 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for L1. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for L1 parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw boundary line and lock to reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 170 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for C. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 33 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for N. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 11 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for P. Select Instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 110 mm and create similar. Insert Dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for B. Select Instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 45 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for M. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 15 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for M1. Select Instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and assign to ID parameter. Select Instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 11.5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the revolve. 
draw boundary line and lock to reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw boundary line and lock to reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Join the geometry with each other. Go to family type. Add formula for B parameter. And click apply. Add formula for C parameter. And click apply. Add formula for M parameter. And click apply. Add formula for M1 parameter. Formula is M divided by 3. And click apply. Add formula for N parameter. And click apply. Add formula for P parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw the ellipse. Draw boundary line and lock to reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Go to family type. Check and play the nominal diameter parameter. Back to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 8 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for you. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 6 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for R. Select instance and click OK. Go to left view. Go to create. Select the sweep. 
sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Uncheck the visible. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to create. Select pipe connector and place on flange face. Select pipe connector and associate the diameter to nominal diameter parameter. Set global for system classification and K coefficient for loss method. Select the connector and link to the each other. Go to family type. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on Autodesk Physical Asset and select the paint. Replace blue color paint. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Set RGB color code for medium blue. and click apply. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. This is Valve Actuator Gearbox Revit family which was created in Face Base family. You can find and watch how to create this family in the channel. Insert and load this created family into main family. Go to 3D view. Place the family. Go to left view. Correct the hand wheel orientation. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Back to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the family. Associate nominal diameter to nominal diameter. Assign the hand wheel material parameter to hand wheel. Select instance and click OK. Assign the gearbox material parameter to gearbox. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Check and play the nominal diameter parameter. Assign the gearbox material parameter to body material. Click apply and OK. Click on the hand wheel material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on Appearance Library and select the metallic paint. Replace glossy black color paint. Duplicate the asset and rename it. And click Apply. 
Go to Graphic and select Use Render Appearance. Click Apply and OK. Back to Family Type. Check and play the nominal diameter parameter. OK, creation of butterfly valve flange type family is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.